modes of subsistence. Mode of subsistence is the way by which a culture obtains its food. This pot of stew looks yummy. I can see some root vegetables, some herbs, and a few bits of meat. I wonder who's cooking. Hello. I see you found my stew. It smells delicious. Where did you get your ingredients? I found them in nature. Really? I thought everyone got their food at the supermarket. I belong to a band of foragers. Foragers, people who get their food by collecting or hunting what is naturally available. Is this foraging thing something new? Are you all hippies? No, not at all. As a matter of fact, foraging is the original human food production strategy. Homo sapiens began as a forager. Really? Indeed. All human ancestors foraged for food, going all the way back to Praetorius. This supermarket thing began in the 1930s and 40s. What is it like to be a forager? We live in small social units called bands that consist of between 25 and 50 people. We keep our population low so that it doesn't exceed the carrying capacity of the land. Carrying capacity, the maximum number of individuals that an area's resources can sustain indefinitely without significantly depleting or degrading those resources. We are also egalitarian. That means everyone is equal, there's no permanent leader, and everyone has equal access to resources. There is no social stratification. Amazing! That sounds like a really cool way to live. Our division of labor is loosely based on sex. Women tend to do most of the gathering while men tend to do most of the hunting, but men also gather and women can hunt. So there's no shame or stigma if a man does work that women typically do, and no shame or stigma if a woman does work that men typically do? Yes, that's right. There's also a division of labor by age. Old people have their tasks, young children have theirs, and adults have theirs. Sick or weak people watch the kids. We're also seasonally migratory. When the food supply is beginning to be depleted, we move to the next camp. It sounds like a utopia. Or, some kind of hippie commune. Well, we have few possessions, and what we have, we share. We also share all the food we find with everyone. Would you like some stew? Sure. Thanks. Horticulture. Food production technology distinguished by the use of hand tools to grow domesticated plants does not use dried animals, irrigation, or specially prepared fertilizers. Hey, Miranda, what are you doing? I'm tending my garden. What do you need a garden for? I grow food in my garden. Why don't you just go to the grocery store like everyone else? Because we're horticulturalists. There's no grocery store, and even if there were, we don't have money to buy food. We've been growing our own food for thousands of years. Oh? That sounds interesting. What kind of foods do you grow? Can you grow spaghetti? Or macaroni and cheese? No, we grow domesticated food plants. Here I have a few rows of sweet potatoes. How does that work? I mean, do you plant seeds or something? Sweet potatoes are grown from cuttings. The men cut down and burn all the vegetation from the plot. Then I dig a small hole with a digging stick. Then I drop in the cutting. Do you plant them here every year? Not every year. After a few years, we move on to another plot and let this one go fallow. That means we let all the natural vegetation grow back up for a number of years. Pastoralism, the breeding and managing of migratory herds of domesticated grazing animals, such as goats, sheep, cattle, llamas, and camels. Good morning, gals. I've come to tend you this lovely morning. Hey, Misha, what are you up to? It's my turn this morning to tend the family cattle. I noticed that we only see you around the village a few months out of the year, mainly in winter. Is that because of the cattle? Yes. In the summer, we take the herd to the summer pastures higher up in the mountains. Transhumans, 
the seasonal movement of people with their livestock between fixed summer and winter pastures. What's the difference between pastoralism and family farms that keep livestock? Family farms stay on the same piece of land all the time. Pastoralists are either nomadic or transhuman. They get more than 50% of their livelihood from their livestock. Farmers own the land, but pastoralists simply maintain use rights to graze their livestock in their family's traditional territories. I'm thinking about getting some sushi. Want to come? I would love some sushi, but I have to stay and tend the cattle. Will you bring me some, and we can eat it here? That's a great idea. I'll pick up a picnic blanket on the way. See you in a little while. Agriculture Agriculture Intensive crop cultivation, employing plows, fertilizer, and or irrigation. Some people think that with plows and tractors and other equipment, agriculture is a lot easier than any other mode of production. They're wrong. Agriculture requires more labor than horticulture. Agriculture uses land intensively and continuously. Property is owned. And there is a considerable capital investment to purchase land, buildings, equipment and livestock. Agriculture uses irrigation fertilizers and pesticides. The long-term yield per area is far greater and generally more dependable than horticulture. The problem comes with monocropping, planting acres and acres of the same crop. A pest or disease can wipe out the entire crop, causing economic disaster for the farmers and the people who depend on them for food. Intensive agriculture is not sustainable, mainly because of the use of fossil fuels, and the depletion of the soil through the use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides. Foragers get food by collecting or hunting what is naturally available. Foragers live in bands, are nomadic, and are egalitarian. Horticulture is a food production system distinguished by the use of hand tools to grow domesticated plants. Horticulture does not use draft animals, irrigation, or specially prepared fertilizers. Plots are used for a few years, then left fallow. Pastoralism is the breeding and managing of migratory herds of domesticated grazing animals, such as goats, sheep, cattle, llamas, and camels. Pastoralists obtain more than 50% of their livelihood from their herds. They are either nomadic or transhuman. Land use rights are maintained, but the land is not owned. Agriculture is intensive crop cultivation, employing plows, fertilizer, and door irrigation. Agriculture requires more labor than horticulture and uses land intensively and continuously. Agriculture uses irrigation, fertilizers and pesticides. The same plots are cultivated year after year, 